Jonathan O'Brien. I think Deputy Howlin covered most of what I wanted to say as well. I mean, it is very unusual to have a financial resolution uh, like this when there is no necessity for it to be done before midnight. Now, uh, the only reason I could find, uh, Minister, why it needs to be done before midnight was actually in the note that we got accompanying the financial resolution uh, from the government. And they say that the measure has been implemented on budget night to provide certainty to businesses currently located in Ireland and to businesses considering investing in Ireland in the future, and that the rate will be at 12.5%. So the only reason that we have is that it's to provide certainty tonight, even though we don't actually have to implement it until the 1st of January 2020. I think there's very little information in relation to this particular measure, Minister. Uh, I think it, it would have been better if we could have dealt with it uh, during the passage of the Finance Bill, where we could have uh, had a more detailed discussion on the reasons why uh, we're not looking at uh, the tax rate of 33%, or even the non-trading uh, corporation tax rate of 25%. But wh why is it going down to 12.5%? Um, we've been given no reason for that. We know that uh, certain sectors of um, I suppose the industry have been lobbying very hard for the 12.5 per cent rate. Um, but for, that, for those reasons, we will be supporting the amendment um, being put forward by the Labour Party. Uh, and if the amendment is not accepted and it is a vote on the financial resolution tonight, we will be opposing it because I just don't think it's appropriate that we're looking at it um, to be done before midnight. There is no reason or rationale for rushing this. Uh, it should be done in the course of the Finance Bill, uh, a committee stage where we can look at all of the evidence, um, some of the supporting uh, documentation that I'm sure the Department has, which hasn't been shared with opposition spokespersons. Um, and without that, we cannot support the financial resolutions, but we will certainly support the amendment being put forward by the Labour Party.